The 2014 FIFA World Cup Final was a football match that took place on 13 July 2014 at the Maracana Stadium in Rio de Janeiro, Brazil to determine the 2014 FIFA World Cup champion. Germany defeated Argentina 1–0 in extra time, with the only goal being scored by Mario Goetze, who collected André Schürrle's cross from the left on his chest before volleying a high left-footed shot into the net. The match was the third final between the two countries, a World Cup record, after their 1986 and 1990 matches, and billed as the world's best player Lionel Messi versus the world's best team Germany. .Before the match, Germany had reached the World Cup final seven times six times as West Germany from 1954 to 1990, winning three 1954, 1974, 1990 and being being runners up four times 1966, 1982, 1986, 2002, Argentina had reached four finals, winning twice 1978, 1986 and placing second twice 1930, 1990. The result marked Germany's fourth World Cup title and their first world championship as a unified nation. The victory meant that three consecutive World Cups have been won by teams from the same continent, following Italy and Spain in 2006 and 2010 respectively, the first time this has happened in World Cup history. It was also the first time that three consecutive World Cup finals were still tied after 90 minutes. The final marked the first time a World Cup hosted in the Americas was not won by a team from the continent. In the winning German team, Miroslav Klose, who had become the top scorer in World Cup history in the semi-final victory over Brazil, became one of the very few players ever to have won gold, silver and bronze medals in the World Cup bronze in 2006 and 2010, silver in 2002 and gold in 2014, joining a club with earlier German players like Franz Beckenbauer, Sepp Mayer and Wolfgang Overath 1966 to 1974 as well as Italian Franco Baresi 1982 to 1994 According to FIFA, 1.013 billion individuals globally watched the final match of this tournament. Topic: <laughs> Background The two teams had met in 20 previous matches, with nine wins for Argentina, six wins for Germany and five draws. In these games, both teams had scored a total of 28 goals. Six of these matches were at a World Cup, two of them in the final. The 2014 final was the seventh World Cup match between them, equaling a tournament record for meetings between two teams along with Brazil versus Sweden, and Germany versus Yugoslavia. The last three meetings were in three consecutive World Cups, having met in quarterfinals of 2006 and 2010 campaigns. In the 1966 FIFA World Cup, Argentina and West Germany played a 0–0 draw in the group stage. FIFA cautioned Argentina for its violent style against the Germans which saw Argentine Rafael Albrecht get sent off and suspended for the next match. The 1990 FIFA World Cup final saw two Argentine players get sent off and West Germany won 1–0 due to a controversial penalty kick late in the match. The 2006 quarterfinal game, where Germany won 4–2 in the shootout after the game ended 1–1, was marred by a post-match brawl caused by the Argentines, which resulted in suspensions for two Argentine players and one German player. The most recent meeting between the two teams until the final was a friendly match played on the 15th of August 2012 at Commerzbank Arena, Frankfurt am Main, won by Argentina. 3-2-1. Before the tournament, a friendly was scheduled for the 3rd of September 2014, being the first match for both teams after the World Cup. 
Argentina won this meeting 4–2. Topic: Returning players. Among the players in the 2014 World Cup squads, the following played in the 2006 and 2010 meetings. Closa scored one goal in the 2006 meeting and two goals in the 2010 meeting, while Müller scored one goal in the 2010 meeting. Germany manager Joachim Lowe was the assistant manager in 2006 and the manager in 2010. Topic: <inaudible> Road to the final. Topic: <inaudible> 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 Match ball. The match ball for the 2014 FIFA World Cup final, announced on 29 May 2014, featured a variation of the Adidas Brazuca named the Adidas Brazuca Final Rio. Whilst the technical aspects of the ball were the same, the design was different from the Brazuca balls used in the group stages and other playoffs, with a green, gold and black coloring. It was the third special ball for FIFA World Cup final matches, after the Plus Teamgeist Berlin 2006 and the Jobalani 2010. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Match officials. Nicola Rizzoli, from Italy, was named as the referee of the final, together with fellow Italians Renato Favarani and Andrea Stefani as the assistant referees, and Carlos Vera and Christian Lascano from Ecuador as the fourth and fifth officials. Earlier in the 2014 World Cup, Rizzoli took charge of the Spain-Netherlands and Nigeria-Argentina matches in the group stage, and the Argentina-Belgium quarterfinal. He had previously taken charge of the 2010 UEFA Europa League final and the 2013 UEFA Champions League final. He was also one of the referees at the 2011 FIFA Club World Cup, UEFA Euro 2012 and the 2013 FIFA U20 World Cup. He became the third Italian referee to take charge of a World Cup final, after Sergio Ganella in 1978 and Pierluigi Colina in 2002. <laughs> <laughs> Match <laughs> Summary Both teams named unchanged starting lineups from their semi finals, but German midfielder Sami Kadira withdrew during the warm up with a calf injury. He was replaced by Christoph Kramer, who had made two brief substitute appearances during the tournament. Kramer himself suffered a head injury after a collision with Ezekiel Garay inside the penalty area, but was initially cleared to continue playing. Fourteen minutes later in the 31st minute however, he collapsed to the ground, apparently suffering from concussion and was replaced by André Scherla. Argentina's Gonzalo Higuaín missed a good opportunity in the first half, dragging his shot wide after being put through on goal by a misjudged header from Tony Cruz. He had a goal disallowed later in the first half, when he was ruled offside after tapping in a cross by Ezekiel Levesi from the right wing. Germany responded when Thomas Müller raced into the penalty area and cut the ball back for Schürrle, who saw his first-time effort saved by a diving Argentine goalkeeper Sergio Romero. As the half ended Germany had a brief flurry of chances, the closest coming when Benedict Huidas' header hit the post from a corner during injury time. In the second half Lionel Messi missed an early opportunity when he fired wide of the German goal from inside the penalty area after receiving a through pass, but the remainder of the half saw fewer chances with the closest coming from a Tony Cruz shot that went wide in the 81st minute. 
In the 88th minute, Germany's all-time leading scorer Miroslav Klose was substituted for Mario Goetze. This would be Klose's final appearance for Germany. Early in the first half of extra time André Schürrle received a pass in front of goal from Goetze, but his close-range shot was stopped by Romero. Minutes later, Rodrigo Palacios' lob over Manuel Neuer went just wide after the forward jumped on a mistake by Mats Hummels in the German penalty area. In the second half of extra time Mario Goetze of Germany scored the winning goal in the 113th minute. Schürrle raced past two defenders on the left before crossing into the penalty area, where Goetze controlled the ball on his chest and then volleyed left-footed into the net. He became the first substitute to score a World Cup winning goal, as well as the youngest player to score in a World Cup final since German Wolfgang Weber in 1966 same age, 22. Thomas Muller had a chance to double Germany's lead shortly afterward when he dribbled past two defenders, but his shot across the net was too wide. Late in extra time, Messi had an opportunity to equalize from a free kick within goal-scoring distance, but his attempt flew high over the crossbar. In addition to Klose, Germany captain Philipp Lahm and veteran defender Per Mertesacker, a late substitute, announced that the final would also be their last match for Germany. Combined, these three players had amassed 354 appearances for the national team between them. <laughs> Details. Topic Statistics Topic Reaction in Brazil Due to the Argentina-Brazil football rivalry, the Brazilians in the crowd supported Germany, despite their resounding 7–1 victory over Brazil in the semi-finals, as the Germans had shown respect to the defeated hosts, while Argentine fans had celebrated Brazil's elimination. Most Brazilians were reportedly relieved that their rivals did not win the World Cup in Brazil's iconic home stadium. Notable spectators Brazilian President Dilma Rousseff invited the BRICS leaders to the final ahead of the 6th BRICS summit. Among those who showed up were Vladimir Putin, the President of Russia, the next World Cup hosts, and Jacob Zuma, the President of South Africa, the previous hosts. Other world leaders Viktor Orban Hungary, Ali Bongo Ondimba Gabon and Gaston Brown Antigua and Barbuda also attended the event, which led The Guardian to label the guest list, "...bizarre and random", as those countries were failed to qualify for this World Cup. German President Joachim Gauck and Chancellor Angela Merkel were present for the final. Merkel already watched the Germany vs. Portugal match in Salvador, when the German team won 4–0. The president of Argentina, Cristina Fernández de Kirchner, did not attend because of both her grandson's birthday and a case of pharyngolaryngitis. Russian comedian Vitaly Zadorovetsky ran onto the pitch during the match with "...natural born prankster." written across his torso and attempted to kiss Benedict Huidas of Germany. Brazilian authorities arrested him, and he was released hours after the match. Several celebrities also attended the final, including Rihanna, Mick Jagger, David Beckham, Ashton Kutcher, Daniel Craig, Tom Brady, and LeBron James. Former World Cup winners like Fabio Cannavaro, Lothar Matthäus, Daniel Passarella, who all had won the World Cup as captains, and Pele were present as well. <laughs> <laughs> Ceremonies 
The closing ceremony took place about an hour and 40 minutes before the final. A performance of two acts, the ceremony lasted about 20 minutes. The first act featured 22 samba dancers and a host of other performers, with 32 of the dancers wearing dresses decorated in the colors of the 32 participating teams. The second act featured musical performances headlined by Colombian singer Shakira, and included singers Carlinos Brown, Wyclef Jean, Alexander Pires, Ivite Sangalo, and guitarist Carlos Santana, Brazilian supermodel Giselle Bunchen, and Carlos Puyol, a member of Spain's winning team in 2010, unveiled the FIFA World Cup trophy. President Rousseff of Brazil delivered the trophy to German captain Philipp Lahm during the awards ceremony on the stands. Alongside her during the trophy handover was FIFA president Sepp Blatter. As Lom raised the trophy, the outro of the tournament's official song, We Are One Ole Ola, was played. Viewer <inaudible> figures <inaudible> 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 According to FIFA, 1.013 billion individuals globally watched the final match of this tournament. See also FIFA World Cup 2014 1986 FIFA World Cup Final 1990 FIFA World Cup Final